Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can jailbreak your PS4 up to 12.2 version, software version, and it is so easy. After that, you can install whatever game you want. So for this to work, you will need a Blu-ray disk drive and a Blu-ray disk, also a flash drive and a computer or laptop. If you want to check if the disk or the drive is Blu-ray, put the empty disk inside and it should make the sound of a jet engine. It should also have this BD mark on the drive. Okay, all the files that I've been used in this video are also in my Telegram channel for quick access. This one is the hack file and Windows security removes it immediately after downloading because it thinks that it's a virus. You better turn off the Windows security for this one. Uh, this one is the update file, meaning it will update your PS4 if it is older version to the 12.2. And this one, the recovery will initialize the PS4, meaning removing everything and give you a clean start and also update it to 12.2. Now right click on the flash drive, press format and format it into XFAT or the FAT32. It should be one of these two, otherwise it won't work. Now open the folder that contain the hack folder and put the payload.bin file directly into the flash drive with no subfolders. Now extract the update file and copy the ps4 folder with the folder on the flash drive next to the payload.bin so i copy that and with these two files our flash drive is ready now we are going to make our cd we need the image burner file and the labs hack file so let's install this image burner and select next 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 and wait for it to install now we will insert our blu-ray disk and open the program and go to the right image to the disk and drag and drop the labs file into this place and check the speed to the two times and the copies to one the speed two copy one and tick the verify button so it verifies the installation and everything is fine now just press the right button it is going to take some time depending on your hardware for me it took about one minute and now the disk is ready now to the installation part our software version is 11.2 and we are going to update it first so turn off the ps4 and wait for it to completely turn off and then connect the usb that we made into the ps4 and the cable to connect the controller after that is ready press the power button and hold it until you hear the second beep it should be about five seconds after the second beep the ps4 goes into the safe mode now we can install the software connect the controller with the cable so if you have the update file number three is the update software it will delete nothing and the number seven will delete everything and give you a fresh start but you will need the recovery file the one gigabyte file in the channel for this now are you sure everything will be deleted yes i am sure this also going to take some time about 10 or 15 minutes the ps4 will restart couple of time after that you will see this screen it says connect the controller we are already connected let's continue with this setup quickly now here first thing first we need to go to the setting the system and check the HTCP to be enabled as you can see mine is enabled I also like to disable the voice operation setting and the automatic download need to be disabled sorry for the blurriness now make sure to turn off the auto update otherwise the system will be updated we need to connect the system to the internet using LAN or Wi-Fi whatever you have with the auto update disabled internet connected and the HTCP enabled now connect the USB drive first and then insert the blu-ray disk and launch it after that this screen pop out press yes and in the moment the PS4 should be jailbroken some prompts will pop out and go down as you can see mine works for the first time 
but yours might be giving some errors or the prompt not fully loaded just press the home button on the controller and restart and try again the first time that you jailbreak the console successfully the data on the usb drive will be copied on your hdd and you don't need to use it for the next run as you can see we have the golden hand loaded and we now can install whatever the game we like oh and remember to disconnect the internet sometimes it goes crazy and auto update the software for itself even though we disabled the auto update i don't know why this happens if you had any problem you can comment it down below i will happy to answer thanks for watching see you